Hey, it's Jim. Good to see you today. Excited to bring you a new review of an interestingly set up scooter to me, which is the High Boy Nex 5. Harkens back to a little bit to Bumblebee. It was a former Transformers fan, still a Transformers fan. I have a collection of Transformers. It's available in this yellow and black color and then an all black color. One of the standout features on this particular scooter, what attracted me to it, was a removable battery. Now, that removable battery doesn't work quite as a, how I was expecting it, uh, as I'll talk about later. But right now, this is going to be a first look, first ride video. I haven't ridden I pushed it over to here, so my ride footage live with you will be true to how I'm actually experiencing this scooter right up, right off the bat. Um, but let's just take a quick uh, look at a couple things here. First off, it's a pretty big scooter. Uh, had a little difficulty fitting in the back of my car, actually. Something with by High Boy you think would be a little more portable. Um, we have two batteries. Uh, they are both 36 volt, I think 7 amp hour or 7.5. So you get 270 watt hours per battery pack. One is here in the stem, removable. The other is in the deck. When I had got the scooter, I thought it came with two batteries swappable in the stem. Uh, we'll talk about what I think about that, how the, that's all gonna come together uh, down the road. 350 watt front hub motor. Again, batteries in one battery in the deck. Disc brake on the back. Pretty nice wide rubberized deck. Uh, did have a couple little boo-boos from shipping as well as the rear brake cable had pulled out. Um, and when you get this scooter, you do have to put in six Allen bolts, Allen screws, um, and put the handlebar head section on and the cable is then loose. So it took a little adjustment to get the cable and I'm going to do a, a basic cable adjustment video coming down the road, have a warning bell and the screen here, the power's on with this button. It's almost invisible. I turned up the brightness, still quite invisible. Got the controller here. The note on, I've seen some notes on High Boy's website of people having issues getting this portion on. Uh, in here, there's an electrical connection, so you need to be real careful with that. And once that is seated into place, you kind of push it down. And if all these holes aren't visibly lining up, I recommend contacting High Boy right away. Uh, this is kind of a little precarious, how these are positioned for getting this tightened up, but you can tighten up those Allen screws in there through this gap. The other thing I found a little fiddly initially on this scooter was the key for removing the battery. Now you turn it all the way, and this is a little hard to do one-handed, but you pull this up, and then the battery drops out here. Pretty light. Uh, my full review, I'll have the weights for all these things. What I was having issues with is I wasn't getting this to drop all the way down and actually holding the battery. It was like kind of hanging up. The instructions say you want to put this horizontal. What I'm finding is vertical locked and vertical unlocked really seems to be the way to go because you want it to basically lock in and hold this thing into place. So to put it back in, bottom first, kind of support it, pull this up. That should all lock into place and rotate that all around, pull the key out. So most of the scooter body is metal, uh, pretty nicely put together. Oddly, the kickstand is plastic. Folding is a, the high boy scooters have a really, tend to have really good folding mechanisms like a lot of budget scooters do, which a lot better and a lot of times than the more expensive scooters. So you pull up this little tab and you can grab this ring and then it's simply, it doesn't take much effort to pull it back and pop it into place. That being said, this is not a great ergonomic way to carry this scooter that definitely weighs over 40 pounds. I have not yet weighed its total weight. Um, the other thing I don't necessarily like about it is I can actually feel the battery move a touch when I pick it up from this spot. Folding it, unfolding it, or putting it back upright, you push this lever down to release it. Then it's up and popped, and then just make sure and push that into place. And you're good to go. It seems quite solid, but we're gonna see how it does while riding. First, let's talk about performance. Performance and details. 
$749 right now on High Boy's website. You can get $100 off if you're one of the first number of orderees. Um, there's also going to be a discount code down below to save uh, 5% if you use that. I'll put on the screen here what High Boy has said this scooter will do. And that is 34 miles of range, 19 miles per hour top speed, 15 degree incline. It's all pretty good stuff. And high boys tended to be pretty good on their speed and range claims. I'm going to test out three of those today, right now with you. We're going to climb the hill. We're going to see what the top speed is. And I'm going to ride a distance and then calculate what the range is. I, I'm, it's, almost, it's 100 degrees out here right now. So I, I don't really want to push it for a full range test. So with that being said, let's ride this thing. You don't want to listen to me talk, you want to see me ride it. All right, hi boy, come fires on here with a hold of this power button, a little bit audible beep. I turned up the luminance in the app, which uh, there's a few functions you need the app to do, turning off and on cruise control and changing units. I, I really, I'm in the shade here and I can just see it. So you get a speed indicator. Uh, I think maybe the other one might be miles, but you get a little bit of an interesting feedback here with how much you're pushing on both the throttle and the brake. So it tells you kind of, maybe gives you an idea how much energy you're using. Um, one press turns on the front headlight, tail light. Um, I did initially think it had another light in the deck, but uh, there is not one there. Okay, so we're in level one. Oh, uh, other thing to note is these two lines of battery, one, two, three, four, they have both have five bar inc increments. They're each of the batteries. The inner circle is the removable battery and the outer circle is the in the deck battery. Oh, it's pretty spunky actually. So a lot of times you're used to on these scooters, a, a, a true electronic brake on the thumb here. This one, you can hear that electronic brake engage at the same time that rear disc is applied. So here is speed limit one. Looks like we're about 12. Uh, the comfort's a little better than I expected. So this has eight and a half inch solid tires. Uh, not honeycomb, though I haven't noticed a big difference with honeycombs. Um, there is front and rear spring suspension and I can feel the rear working pretty well. That beep, I assume, means we're in cruise control. So here we are in speed limit two. Oh, this thing's pretty spunky. So the display is reading 16. I can actually see it in this tree cover. We are in cruise control. That will disengage it and this will disengage it. Switching to speed mode three. Let's see what we get here. Uh, oh, I can just feel kind of governing it. That kind of makes me wonder if there's a way to push it beyond the top speed. That, uh, I didn't see a way in the app to do so. So I'm, I'm seeing 19 on the display here. So that is matching their claim. We'll see on the GPS as I turn around. So I'm not feeling a lot of the cushion from that front suspension. I, I'm only 170 pounds, so that could be part of it. But the rear, I feel the rear is pretty nice uh, comfort wise. And this, this is a nice path, right, that I'm on here. I don't feel like it's, uh, I think it's like, it feels like the ride's a lot better than I expected. Handlebars, got good stability. The way the scooter feels, I'm I'm pretty dang impressed. I gotta say. Hi boy says this will do a 15% slope. I'm gonna climb the hill I climb with all the scooters I review, which is a 12 to 14% slope. Oh, well that was a little rough, and it gets it's 14% in the midpoint. We'll see what it does. Just judging by the amount of power it just had, 
right back there, I would think it's going to have no problem. This is a kick scooter, and I'm noticing it takes a little more kick than I'm used to. Um, so let's see how this does. So we are in speed limit three. That's not a gear. Some, some scooters call it a gear. Um, it really is not. I'm not sure why they label it that way. Well, this is just barely going to make it. Uh, I'm a little surprised by that. It would probably make a 15% incline, but I would be tending to uh, add a little assistance. It is eight and a half inch wheel on a 350 watt motor with 36 volts going to it. So it doesn't, it's not set up for extreme hill climbing. The deck is moderately high. I haven't measured all that yet. Not the easiest thing to add effort kicking on. Uh, coasting downhill, this feels stable. I, you know, feels pretty dang good. So I did uh, contact High Boy and ask them how these batteries work together. Uh, so how it works is it, they said the batteries are used at the same time. So the, re, the removable battery, I think the idea with that is say you rode 15 miles, but you need to go another, like far enough more that you're unsure of your range. So you can recharge that removable battery and then add to your effective range. I'm, I'll be interested to see how those two, how they interact. Um, I'm just really curious to see how a fully charged removable battery and like maybe a, a the deck battery at 20% how they work together. Um, usually I'm a pretty big fan of cruise control. I'm finding the way this cruise control engages is a little odd. It actually engages like at the throttle position versus the speed. So it keeps accelerating after the cruise control has engaged. The grips are slip on, but they feel pretty decent. Um, this thumb throttle feels pretty good too, but having the power button there that moves with, I guess it's nice for changing speed limits, but it's a, uh, it's a little different, a little different setup. It takes some getting used to. All right, so the, the smaller number there is miles. So this one actually does keep track of your distance, which is a nice, Nice to have, we just ticked it one mile. Finding kind of interesting that I'm uh, about a mile in and under acceleration, it already shows that I've clicked down a bar battery. So this is a nice cruising speed. Uh, where I am on the American River bike trail, you're really not supposed to ride above 15 miles per hour. Um, and I generally keep it pretty nice and chill under that. Okay, there's a look down at how my feet are oriented. I have a size, these are size 11s that I'm wearing today. Um, there's a little bit of noise that comes from that, the ring that you can grab to unfold the scooter, but flipping it up like that seems to take care of that noise mostly. So as I was talking about the two batteries, charging this scooter is also interesting. There's a charge port just to the left side of the stem that will charge both of the batteries at the same time. I don't know if it will charge just the deck battery if the stem battery wasn't in there. And then it comes with a little charger base that the removable stem battery will just pop into to be charged. That also has to be plugged into the same charger that charges the entire scooter. Um, I think to really get the most out of that this removable battery option assuming if it works like i'm hoping it does you would really want to have two chargers i feel so right now sun's directly overhead it looks like i'm doing 19 still by the speedometer i can't really see anything on the display i do have polarized glasses on um, i did make sure that the film's off of there and for what i can tell it is off of there so LCD 
bright, you know, visibility is a, it's a challenge on a lot of these scooters. Jump in the shade real quick here. So you can see, hopefully you can see, the rear tail light flashes when the brakes applied, even though the lights are not on. I'm just curious, I'm giving it, so I've rid, ridden three miles here by the display. Um, if it's flashing on the camera, it's not actually flashing in real life here. IRL. <laughs> so we're at four, four bars of battery indication. Um, for a scooter rated to go 34 miles, um, I kind of would expect this to peak back up. So I'm gonna give it here a minute before I take back off. This display is hot. That controller is not as hot. I think it's a fun looking scooter. One of my, I was really excited about the idea of the removable battery for this reason. I've always wanted a last mile solution that I could leave in the car and there wouldn't be harm to it because the battery wouldn't be subject to all those temperature extremes. Um, so like a truly removable battery, if it was just replaceable, I think that'd be pretty awesome. And portability wise, this is really not that portable. Getting in and out of my car was not all that easy and carrying it by this, like I kind of mentioned before, it's, it's not a very ergonomic uh, place where you have to carry it when it's in the folded position. My recommendation would be pushing it as far as you could and then folding it down at the last minute and continuing from there. All right, well, it didn't look like the battery indicator recovered. I'm gonna go one more bar of battery before I turn around. Now, from a range perspective, I'm not doing any favors to this high boy next five. It's over 100 degrees. It's, this is uphill, this, this direction is uphill, but I know I'm gonna come back downhill. Whew. All right, well, there's a lot of bit of rebound from that rear suspension kind of popping back into place, so it kind of snaps a lot. Again, I don't feel very much from that front suspension. Uh, it is it is a pretty small suspension, so maybe it's not it's not designed to travel very far. It's good. It's better than nothing for sure. Yeah, I, I'm actually finding this uh, next five pretty fun. I'm not somebody that really feels the need to have a ton of speed on scooters. Uh, uh, you know, 20 miles per hour is is works good for me just fine oh man the temperature just went up just now where i came around that corner it's got to be like 110 degrees right here Whew. all right hi boy you can do it uh this is a new fish ladder that was put in here well there's a fish hatchery so i think this is kind of where the the young fish that have been bred uh, get turned out just going to give you a quick look at the high boy app you can see you can change the different speed modes here, turn the light off and on. Um, looks like we've went 5.2 miles, 73% battery remaining. Uh, I'm going to turn cruise control off this time. Oh, let's see. I have the backlight all the way up. Pretty simple. I'm going to put it in the middle mode here for the uh, part of the rest of this trip. So we're going back downhill, but we have the wind kind of working against us. So on the way here, we were uphill, but had a little bit of helping wind, apparently. If you're familiar with uh, bike commuting, it seems like the wind is always in your face. And it always feels, <laughs> it feels that way a lot of times on a scooter as well. Hey, thanks for joining me on this first look at the High Boy Nex 5. Uh, pretty interesting scooter. Like it's got some things that I wasn't expecting. Like the, the ride was a little better, uh, better than like the S2 scooters with those honeycomb tires. The little bit of suspension definitely helps out in that regard. There still are some little bit of rattling noises. Um, I am going to post kind of my 
anticipated range results based on this ride, which is going to be somewhere between 10 and 15 miles. It's really hot out. I don't really want to tax the scooter too much at this point. But, you know, for my first thoughts, I'm pretty impressed, especially if, you, if you're one of those folks who gets it for $100 off or $650, which having, you know, almost 600 watt hours of capacity, it seems like it should work pretty well for a lot of folks, especially if you're one of those people that have had flat tire woes and, you know, just don't want to go through that rigmarole anymore. I will be doing a video number two with in-depth acceleration, braking, and all that stuff as well as more, you know, full range test information. And, you know, I also want to check in and do some longevity uh, check-in. So I want to get a couple hundred miles on this to know how well these high boy scooters are holding up now that I've reviewed a few of them. So if you have any questions about this, comments, if you used it already since it's kind of a newer scooter, please leave those comments below. Uh, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you get a notification of all those new videos coming out. And thanks a lot. And I'll leave you with a little view of the the ducks and the high boy. Those are not ducks, Jim. Those are geese. Catch the wave. Feel the